Hey y'all, welcome back to Culture Journey. I'm Kenzie, and we are about to go to Nepal. I'm going to share 10 facts about Nepal with y'all, and I hope you enjoy. Fact number one is the flag. It is the only flag in the entire world that is not a quadrilateral. It's actually two triangles on top of each other and it like represents the mountains that there are in Nepal because it's very mountainy yes and it's also said to like represent like Hinduism and Buddhism but yeah it definitely looks more like mountains you know triangles but yeah it's a cool flag very unique fact number two is the time it is very unique as well because it's actually like 45 minutes off of like the hour that you know like globally most times are on the hour like an hour ahead an hour behind but no Nepal is one of those unique countries that is like a little different and so yeah if you like ever travel there just keep that in mind you're gonna be like 45 minutes but I think it's like because of the mountains, like Mount Everest, they like did the time on that or something, I don't know. But it's definitely different. Fact number three is the year. It is actually 2078 in Nepal. So they're had like 50 years ahead of my year, but it's like so close, but so far. Very interesting. I mean, everybody's different, but yeah, like, so they just had their New Year's in April, so like a few, like a week or two ago, I think. And so yeah, that was cool. So yes, keep in mind, 2078. We're in the future. <laughs> Fact number four is religion. The two main religions in Nepal are Hinduism and Buddhism. And that is actually kind of leading me to a little other interesting thing. Nepal is very unique because it is sandwiched between China and India. Two very big countries, very cultural, whatnot. But yeah, so it's kind of like they have a little bit of the com combination of both. And I'm not sure if it's like completely accurate, but I know I think of Hinduism as more of India and Buddhism as more of China, so they kind of have that blend there. But Nepal has actually, like, done a really great job of, like, keeping, like, their own culture and not, like, you know, just, like, getting blended, all that. So, yeah, it's an interesting mix, but they have their own special thing. Yeah. I really gotta stop ending with that, guys. Help me out here. Fact number five. Cows. Cows, y'all. Cows, okay? Cows. So, in, ca blah, 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 blah. in Nepal, cows are sacred. I think that has something to do with the Hinduism religion. I'm not completely sure about that. But I know I heard that in, like, India, cows are, like, sacred and walk around the streets and all. But I did not know that about Nepal. It's really cool, though. I'm not, like, sure if they're, like, literally walking through the streets. I do not know about that but if they are it's kind of cool but i'm sure it's kind of annoying like <laughs> what's this cow doing in my way but for them cows are very prestigious i guess sacred i mean it's just it's definitely a different thing for my culture so i'm fascinated by that i actually really love cows they just seem so cool to me but i do understand that they're 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 an animal <laughs> And so yeah, just like this, yeah. Wrapping my head around that takes a little bit. I hope you can do it too. Y'all, it's time to climb a mountain. Are you ready? Okay, fact number six. Mount Everest, like the tallest mountain in the world, is right here in Nepal. Is that cool or what? I know, it's cool, right? So. That's not all. Eight out of the ten highest mountains in the world are located in Nepal. And y'all, Nepal is not that 
giant of a country. It's just this little country there with all these mountains. So yes, when you think of Nepal, do not forget the mountains. That is a very important part. And man, are those mountains beautiful or what? Y'all, okay, right after this video, I might just like have a little picture of a mountain. Okay, y'all, this fact isn't quite as, you know, amazing. Fact number seven, Nepal has one of the slowest download speeds in the world. A little sad, but I mean, it's like the mountains, the countryside. Who needs good internet, right? <laughs> no, I'm sure, I'm sure they wish it was a little better, but you know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Y'all. Were we on fact number eight? I think so. Okay, so Nepal has many, many different ethnic groups and languages there. Kind of like India, if y'all remember from like our video a few videos ago. So yeah, there's a lot of, you know, like I mentioned, culture, blah, 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 blah. Amazing, right? So the main language is Nepali, but not everyone knows that. It's like, you know, it's the main language, but you know, you speak whatever language you speak, right? So yes, but we are about to get to a little bit of Nepali in a moment. So hang in tight, okay? Oh, why do I do that? <laughs> Fact number nine. A little bit of a side one, life expectancy is 59 years old. That's a little ways, but when you start getting up there in years, it gets a lot closer. So yeah, I mean, I think they live a very hard working life. There's not a lot of like great health care and stuff. So yeah, they don't live an extreme amount. But you know, if you enjoy your life on earth, what does it matter how long you're here, right? Last, but not least, fact number 10. Yeti, abominable snowman, Bigfoot. Oh no, not him. Well, there is a rumor that the Yeti or the abominable snowman or whatever lives in like the mountains of Nepal. But you know what? I don't think anybody's really ever seen him. It's kind of just one of those myths, but you know, it's like, Apparently, Nepal gets to claim him. So yeah, if you ever do like hike one of those mountains, go up there and it's like snowy, look for him. Let me know if you find him. That would make a great video, y'all. Should I do that one day? Okay, I might be crazy. Yeah, maybe, if I ever do. Just note this, on this day, I talked about it, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> So yes, that was our 10 facts. And now we are about to say a few cool Nepali phrases before we end our video. <laughs> Namaste. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but yes, it is actually in Hindi and Nepali. So very cool. It's like a cool greeting and I think it has a few different cool meanings but we just translate it to a plain old hello sad sad you should research that by okay I think I think I might know some of the things but yeah can't tell you everything now can I that wouldn't be any fun sago vacha sawagacha sawagacha sago vacha sago vacha Welcome. Ramro. Ramro? Ramro. Good. Dari vaya behit. Navaya go. Long time no see. So those were our Nepali phrases. 
I hope you enjoyed that and our wonderful 10 facts. So if you did, please hit the like button. And if you know any more cool facts about Nepal, comment down below and tell me. And also, if any of my 10 facts were inaccurate, please tell me. I don't want to be like spreading false information. I want to be spreading wonderful information, facts, loves, languages, all over, okay? So please do your part and help me succeed in doing that. And oh, did I forget to say subscribe, subscribe. If you are new here and y'all i just heard about this thing called a bell y'all i think i've been forgetting to say that i don't want to be like annoying or anything but yeah like if there's like a bell you can hit there like ring it make some noise i don't know but i think that like helps you know when i post a new video but if you don't want to hit that bell i am posting at monday mornings 8 a.m my time which is what is that like central American time? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Now I'm going to say one last thing in Nepali to you. You betcha. You love when I speak Nepali because I'm like so dramatic. I don't know. But yes. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I want to say real quick. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. Sati. That means like friend and I love saying that. That's, you know, sometimes I just like adopt a word into my vocabulary and Sathi is a great one. Okay, now B B da B da pa B the pa B the pa